Hi and welcome to our veterinary medicine videos on YouTube. Talking to you, Dr. Mustafa Ismail, and we are going to talk about theriogenology. In the previous episode, we talked about the definition of theriogenology and the difference between natural breathing and artificial insemination. Today, we are going to talk about different information related to the reproductive system and theriogenology in cattle. First, cattle is non-seasonal polycyclic animal. What is the mean of non-seasonal polycyclic animal? It means that cattle can be bred at any time during the year. In the previous episode, when we said that if we provide cattle with a good nutrition and management program, cattle can be bred at any time during the year. So we are saying now that cattle are non-seasonal polycyclic, which means that the cyclic activity is not interrupted. If we are going to compare cattle with other different species, we will find that other different species are seasonal monocyclic. So the, the cyclic activity is interrupted either by season or by a time or by a period of the cycle. But in cattle, the, the estrus cycle or the cyclic activity is only interrupted by three exceptions. First, when cattle is pregnant, so it will not have an estrus cycle. Second, during a high milk producing cattle, when it have a high milk producing, so prolactin hormone is very high. Third, when cattle have a disease or a pathological condition like, like what you see in the picture that cattle is emaciated. Second, the young female animal shows no evidence of any sexual activity before puberty. If you are going to see the behavior of the young female or an heifer, if you are going to see the sexual activity, you will find that there is no evidence of any sexual activity or cyclic periods before puberty. The definition of puberty it is the change when the female becomes sexually mature and able to reproduce. During the pre-pubertal period, the growth of the genital organs is very similar to that of the organ system. But at the puberty, the growth rate of the reproductive system is accelerated. As you can see, he said that uterine horns is increased by 58% and the weight of the uterus is increased by 72% and the weight of the ovaries increased by 32%, more than the acceleration of the growth rate in the body. 